Welcome to a world of intrigue and wonder, where the unexplained and the inexplicable collide. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into the top five mysteries that have captivated the human imagination for years. From ancient mysteries to modern day conundrums, these puzzles have stumped the greatest minds of our time and continue to elude our understanding. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we explore the depths of the unknown in our quest for answers. Welcome to History in Minutes. Number 1. The Pyramids of Antarctica Is it possible that the ancient Egyptians constructed pyramids in Antarctica? Or perhaps extraterrestrial beings are responsible? This idea was once dismissed as implausible, but since 2016, there have been significant efforts towards uncovering the truth. Ancient Origins, a research project based in the Republic of Ireland focused on exploring the world, began publishing a series of research articles complete with photos and videos on the northwestern fringes of Antarctica. These articles explore hierarchical structures that cover 98% of the area's snow. The notion of pyramids in Antarctica is not a new concept. Almost a century ago, in 1910, a group of 65 British explorers embarked on the Terra Nova expedition to explore Antarctica. The team was selected from 8,000 applicants and included officers, navigators, doctors, explorers, geologists, and aquatic biologists. The expedition was sponsored by the British Royal Geographical Society. On January 17, 1912, Scott and his team arrived in Antarctica. Sadly, they perished on their return journey on March 29th that same year. Their bodies were not discovered until approximately 200 days later on November 12. During the expedition, they stumbled upon the hierarchical shapes hidden under the ice. Despite their tragic fate, they documented what they saw in their memoirs, noting that the shapes appeared to be remnants of an ancient civilization, similar to that of the Egyptians. This raises the possibility that the ancient Egyptians may have ventured to Antarctica thousands of years ago. The British concealed information and photographs captured by Scott and his team for more than a century. Although there were occasional rumors and fragments of information about their discoveries of ancient civilizations and snow-covered pyramids, it wasn't until 2016 that a group of enthusiasts, intrigued by unusual phenomena, revived the theory of Antarctic pyramids. They presented a series of images from Google Earth that seemed to depict ice-covered pyramids and shared their hypothesis through Ancient Origins, a platform dedicated to groundbreaking research on the ancient world. In 2016, a group of researchers claimed to have discovered three pyramid-like structures in Antarctica, similar to the shape of the Giza pyramids in Egypt. The researchers speculated about the possibility of the ancient civilization having built the pyramids, possibly even the Egyptians. However, some researchers argued that the structures were simply natural geological formations, such as rocky outcrops or nunataks. The pyramids have been the subject to various theories, including being remnants of the lost civilization of Atlantis or being built by aliens. One of the pyramids is located near the beach, while the other two are 16 kilometers away. The American historian Charles Hutchins Habgood published a map in 1966 by the Turkish marine captain Ahmed Muyidin Piri, also known as Piri Reis, which showed the Arctic continent in the 16th century was not covered by ice. This map is believed to be a copy of a map created 6,000 years ago, which suggested that Antarctica may have once been inhabited by humans who could have built the pyramids. However, scientists have suggested that the pyramids are actually mountains shaped like pyramids due to ice erosion, which creates a hierarchical shape. One pyramid, called Pyramid Mountain, is located in the Ellsworth Mountains at a latitude of 78 degrees 18 minutes south, 163 degrees 27 minutes east. It's about 1,200 meters high and is buried under the ice, with a summit similar to that of the Egyptian pyramids. The mountain is located near several lakes with ancient Egyptian names, such as the Pool of Cleopatra and the Lakes of Egypt and Apis, formed by small runways from high places called uplands. Number 2. The Mystery of the Sphinx The term the Sphinx actually refers to the Great Sphinx of Giza, situated on the Giza Plateau near the Great Pyramid of Giza on the west bank of the Nile. It was carved out of bedrock about 2500 BC under the command of Pharaoh Khafre. Although there is some uncertainty regarding this fact, 
The statue is massive, measuring about 73 meters in length, 20 meters in height, and 19 meters in width. It has captivated the minds of people for centuries, including Napoleon Bonaparte, who allegedly used it for target practice during his Egyptian campaign, resulting in the missing nose and damaged face, although this is just a legend. The Sphinx is so ancient that even the Romans, considered an ancient culture, conducted archaeological digs on it, with Emperor Marcus Aurelius excavating it in 160 AD. Recent debate surrounds the age of the Sphinx on the Giza Plateau in Egypt. Author John Anthony West discovered weathering patterns on the Sphinx that were consistent with water erosion, leading geologist Robert Skosh to agree that there was evidence for water erosion. West and Skosh concluded that the Sphinx must be between 7,000 and 10,000 years old, as the land was wet and rainy at that time. However, Egyptologists have dismissed Skosh's theory as flawed, pointing out that the rainstorms over Egypt had stopped long before the Sphinx was built. Critics have also accused West and Skosh of ignoring the effects of local atmospheric industrial pollution, which has damaged the Giza monuments over the past century. Author Robert Bauvel has his own theory regarding the date of the Sphinx. In 1989, he published a paper demonstrating that the three great pyramids of Giza, along with their relative location to the Nile, formed a hologram on the ground that mimicked the three stars of Orion's belt and their location in the Milky Way. Bauvel and Graham Hancock, the author of Fingerprints of the Gods, hypothesized that the Sphinx, neighboring pyramids, and ancient texts constitute an astronomical map associated with the Orion constellation. They believe that the best fit for this map is the star positions in 10,500 BCE, which would push the origins of the Sphinx even further back. However, this date is disputed by Egyptologists as there is no archaeological evidence from that period in the area. The Great Sphinx is surrounded by various legends of secret passages, and investigations have revealed anomalies in the area including underground tunnels and chambers. However, restoration efforts have been ongoing since 1950, with a focus on preservation rather than exploration. Despite this, the Sphinx continues to deteriorate due to wind, humidity, and pollution. A costly restoration project in the past used cement, causing additional damage to the structure, and today, repairs are being made to the Sphinx's damaged shoulder, and attempts are being made to drain the subsoil. Further exploration and excavation will have to wait until preservation efforts are complete. Number 3. The Phaistos Disc The Phaistos Disc is a small, fired clay disc believed to be of Minoan origin. It measures about 16 centimeters in diameter and contains 242 symbols arranged in a spiral pattern on both sides. Despite being discovered in 1908 in the old palace of Minoan Phaistos on Crete, the disc remains an unsolved mystery with no clear evidence about its origin, manufacture, purpose, or meaning. The disc is generally accepted as being of Cretan origin, possibly representing the Minoan language used between 1850 and 1550 BCE. Scholars have noted that the symbols are arranged in a spiral pattern and contain popular Minoan artistic motifs such as dolphins, cattle, lilies, and crocuses which suggest Minoan or Aegean origin. The disc's size varies slightly, suggesting that it was handmade. The symbols are individually stamped and separated into groups of two to seven symbols by vertical lines. The symbols appear to be oriented to the right, implying that they should be read from the center of the disc outwards. Some symbols are represented vertically, such as a fish and a boat, and point towards the outer edge of the disc. While the disc is unique, Similar symbols have been found on a bronze axe in central Crete and three clay statues in the cave shrine of Trostolos. Some symbols on the disc show evidence of being erased and re-stamped with the same or different symbols, suggesting that other discs may have been made. The disc's symbol's significance is widely debated, with scholars uncertain about what each symbol represents and their linguistic meaning. Some have suggested that the disc's symbols may represent a syllabary, with each symbol representing a syllable and each group of symbols representing a word. Others have suggested that some symbols represent syllables, while others represent whole words, making them pure pictographs. Number 4. The Shugborough Inscription 
The Shugborough Inscription Mystery is a historical enigma surrounding an 18th century monument located in the grounds of Shugborough Hall in Staffordshire, England. The monument is called the Shepherd's Monument and it features a relief that depicts a copy of a Nicholas Paulson painting, as well as a tin letter ciphertext that has puzzled historians and codebreakers for centuries. Despite numerous attempts to decipher its meaning, the text's purpose and significance remain unknown. The tomb bears the Latin phrase, Ect in Arcadia Ego, which means, I am even in Arcadia. Below the relief lies a mysterious inscription composed of eight letters, OU, O-S-V-A-V-V, -V. and below it, at a slightly lower level, are the letters D-M. Renowned figures such as Charles Darwin, Charles Dickens, and Josiah Wedgwood have all attempted to decipher the enigmatic message, but none have been successful. Despite many proposed interpretations, none have been validated. Some attempts have been agnostic in nature, attempting to match each letter to the first letter of a word, while others have not. Following the global fascination with the Da Vinci Code and the Holy Blood and Holy Grail, one of the most popular theories suggests that the inscription hides secrets to the Priory of Sion. The phrase, et in Arcadia Ego, featured in Nicholas Poston's painting and the Shepherd's Monument, is the motto of both Pierre Plantard's family and the Priory of Sion, a fringe fraternal organization. Believers in this theory argue that decoding the Masonic symbols in the inscription could lead to the discovery of the Holy Grail. Number 5. The Discovery of Tal El Hammam A recent discovery in Tal El Hammam, an ancient site located between Lake Tiberias and the Dead Sea in Jordan, has led to a breakthrough in the search for the biblical city of Sodom. Archaeologists from Veritas International University and Trinity Southwest University found evidence suggesting that a catastrophic event, possibly a cosmic one, destroyed the city in 1650 BCE during the Middle Bronze Age. Before the disaster, Tal El Hammam was a thriving city covering 34 hectares with over 8,000 residents, military fortifications, a large palace complex, and high walls. The archaeological records show a sudden 600-year gap in the area after the city was destroyed. The researchers used various scientific methods to analyze the site's debris matrix, blowover layer, dark layer, and destruction layer, finding evidence of high-temperature burning and magnetic pottery shards, among other materials. The leading explanation for the mysterious destruction of Tal El Hammam is a cosmic airburst, which occurs when a comet or meteor falls to Earth at high speed explodes in the air, and creates a powerful shockwave upon impact. The evidence suggests that the buildings of Tal El Hammam were completely flattened and driven to the ground, similar to the Tunguska event of 1908, but possibly even more devastating. Since there is no crater, an airburst is the most likely explanation. If true, the meteor was traveling at an incredible speed of 61,000 kph, and exploded 4 kilometers above the city generating shockwaves that wiped out everything and may have even caused the Dead Sea to throw salt into the air, which could explain the high saline content of the surrounding soil. The impact was 1,000 times more destructive than an atomic bomb and even affected the town of Jericho, located 22 kilometers away. Six centuries after the event, resettlement began. While some speculate that this could be the biblical city of Sodom, which God destroyed for its sinful ways with sulfur and fire, archaeologists have not made it a priority to prove this theory. Truly there are things that don't seem to be explainable, but wonders of history and of the world are truly gateways to learning. This is History in Minutes. Like and subscribe for more content worth your every minute.